Yeah, no, nah, it means everything. I mean, obviously, uh, being available um, and durable is your best ability in this league. And, you know, I'm just grateful that I've been able to uh, be consistent throughout and uh, haven't had anything serious ever happen to me in the surgeries and nothing like that. And I think that has a big part of it. So, um, just grateful and, uh, you know, ready to go get this thing. Shane Waldner began his, his press conference today complimenting the, the leadership council from the players' perspective. What is the players' perspective right now about the start to this team? Well, I mean, what we put out there uh, so far is just not what we had wanted to put out there to start the season, obviously. Uh, when you come in there every year, you want to win every game, but obviously you guys on the other side get paid to play too. And, um, you know, we've had lapses as far as execution goes. And, um, the good part about it is everything that's happened that hasn't been in our favor is in, you know, under our control. And we want to go out there and, and showcase our best ball. And uh, we just haven't been able to do that, and, and I think – how we carry ourselves around the building, uh, the practice habits that we have when we're out there are all winning habits, so we're all doing the right things. We're all pulling in the same direction. Um, all it takes is one. And so we're just looking forward to going out there. I think that's the best thing about uh, this league is you get to go out and you know, do it all over again on Sunday. So um, <clears throat> it's always one of those touchy subjects because you, you, know, you can say, you, you can point to certain things, but at the end of the day, it's about looking inward. Um, Looking in that mirror and confronting the truth uh, and being honest with yourself. Uh, and there's always more to give as players, coaches, front office. There's always more to give. You never got it figured out. Uh, and I think those are the three worst words you can say is I got it. You ain't never got it. Once you feel like you got it, uh, then you end up being behind. So, you know, I think <clears throat> mentally everybody's all in the right place and just looking forward to pulling together and uh, getting this dub on uh, Sunday. When, you, when, you, when we talk about those laps, I just think uh, being on the same page, just being on the same page and being, being able to communicate out there. Um, you know, when, we are, when we're out there in walkthroughs and practice, I've made a big emphasis on, you know, just not keeping anything a secret. Uh, when we're out there practicing, this is the time to get on the same page, uh, whether it's the cadence, whether it's blocking schemes, uh, just be on the same page because come Sunday, you just want to be able to flow. You know, you don't want to be out there and not knowing what you got or, or what to do. Or uh, it's, just, it's all about a flow and, and a rhythm, and, and that's what we got to find. Are you able to have an open dialogue with the coaches? Are you guys allowed to speak your minds if there's something that you are seeing from their side that you might not like or see can be improved? Yeah, that's a good question. I think this year um, has been an effort to get that done from the coaches, coaching side. So, um, but at the end of the day, the coaches can't play on the field with you, right? We got that time in the film room to kind of go over things and we got walkthroughs and all of that. It's about us as teammates being all on the same page because that's who's in between those lines. And, um, you know, I think the coaches are doing a good job of um, having an open door policy, like you just said. And uh, it's on us to take, you know, take that and take it to the field. Is it the, the people in here that you have easier fix than maybe it looks? Yeah, I mean, <clears throat> it's one of those things, like, as you know, football is a game of inches, and uh, the margin for error is very small, and, you know, what we see on film and what the average eye uh, may see on game day are totally different, uh, and so we just have to continue to believe in the systems that, are, that we're put in place, um, and then everybody else just has to do their job a little bit better. You mentioned being on the same page, you mentioned that a couple of times. Has there been an issue? Has there been some carelessness that you've identified that needed to be tightened up? I mean, without pointing out certain people, I think there's this game, man, it's uh, you either expose others or you get exposed, right? And like I said, you don't have uh, the room to not be doing your thing, right? Like, and you guys see a great catch that took all 11 minutes for that to happen. You just said touchdown, takes all 11 to see that happen. And I think that's what it's about, is just making sure that we're all on the same page, where we're supposed to be, doing what we're supposed to be doing. Um, and, and that's really it. I mean, it's, uh, it's a complimentary sport. This is why you love it. It's always a constant grind to find that balance. And that's what we're focused on now. Marcy, so what was the message you wanted to get across to Shane when you guys met with him as a leadership? 
Well, I think mainly just continue to be uh, vocal about the things that he sees and don't, you know, don't feel like you can't point guys out, you know, from uh, the oldest guy in the room <laughs> and me to the youngest guy. Like, don't feel like you can't, you know, coaches. I want to be coached. I want to be great. Like, this is not, uh, you know, it's just not for play. You know what I mean? Like, this is our job. We understand that you know, it's a high stressful and production-based business and we all got to be doing the same things or everybody gets fired, right? So um, ego is supposed to be left at the door and, that, and that's what it's about and, you know, he's very receptive to that and I think obviously, you know, coming in, we got a bunch of dudes, right? Not just guys on the team or on this offense. We have dudes, dudes that have done it at a high level um, and so sometimes as a coach coming in, you, you may, you know, be walking on eggshells and I just kind of put that to, put, put that to bed. Like, it's not... Nobody's sensitive in here, you know. We we want to win games just as bad as you do, um, and, let, and it's a collaborative effort and everything. This is not Pop Warner, you know. This is uh, we work together side by side to get things done, and yeah, that's really what my message was. So when, when Caleb talks about wanting to feel comfortable as an entire offense, what, what does that require in the short term of getting everybody? Uh, like I said before, I think it's just rhythm. It's just rhythm. Like in everything you do, regardless of position, it's all about a rhythm. Um, and, and that's what it has to be. We have moments where it's like, okay, two plays are great, and then we have three negative plays. And, you know, three plays are great and two negative plays. We've got to cut the negative plays out, stay above the chains, um, and then hold each other high, you know, and, and make sure that uh, mentally we're in the right space and the confidence is flowing to go out there and do what we do in practice, you know. And that's one of the, one of the things I say when we get in the huddle. Like, yo, we, we do this every day. You know, I've been playing football since I was seven. Like, this is – we do this, you know. Like, don't – feel like you got to do it by yourself. No, nope. We're good enough in this locker room for nobody to have to be Superman. Just do your job to the best of your ability and we'll live with those results. And, you know, that's really my message every day. Um, yeah, and we're just going to keep getting better every day. Yeah, no, it's a blessing for sure. And it's something that, you know, we're looking to continue to improve on. You know, it just starts with a team, with you know, with, with those deep balls and, you know, those, those you know, big plays down the field. It's you know, something small. And one, one of those plays happening is something that can continue to be an asset for us the entire season. What does it do for you, Rome, to actually see it happen for you, to produce like that? You have all this confidence, and then to see the validation of it actually materializes. I think it's huge, you know, especially for me. You know, I love, you know, you know, Mary preparing, you know, uh, during the week and, you know, finally seeing those things come to fruition when it comes to the game time, you know, and always just, you know, reassure you that, you know, the work you're putting in um, and the things that you're doing, you know, during the week are, are, are going to, you know, provide success during Sunday. So it was big. Well, how, much, how much of that comfort level is based on finally getting three straight weeks of actual NFL football and defense was talking about you kind of pre-snap get a better understanding of what's happening get around you? Yeah, I think it's huge for me, honestly. You know, I think, you know, just being able to, to uh, you know, feel all those things and, you know, go through the game and um, experience all those different adversities and things that go on within the NFL game. Um, to finally be able to see those things happen, I think it's kind of a gradual, um, like I said, uh, progression of, of finally, you know, feeling and playing like myself. And I think those things came to fruition last week, and hopefully, you know, continue to take steps towards you know, even better coming the weeks to come. How could having Keenan out there more Oh man, twelve year vet, the Hall of Fame. I, I couldn't, I couldn't tell you how that's gonna help him out. <laughs> I mean, it's Keenan Allen, bro. So he's gonna go out there and you know provide problems for the defense. You know, tell us different things during during the, the, the course of the game to help us out um, and, and continue to you know be Keenan Allen the you know the weapon that he is so um, that's going to provide you know problems for defense you know not knowing um, you know who to guard out there who to cover who to emphasize and uh, allow more things to open up. Well, when you guys are back in the field for this game, the success you found in the passing game, how much of that is repeated? What did you guys oh, I think it's definitely repeatable. You know, I think it's just, you know, a comfortability and a, and a confidence going out there, being an attacking mindset towards the defense, not, you know, waiting to see what they're what they going to give us and what they're trying to limit us to do, but attacking them and understanding that, we, you know, we're, we're on the, uh, a step ahead of that. So um, I think it's definitely, you know, replicable re 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 um, in the games going forward and something that we, we need to do to continue to have success. How much of your progress has been really more mental than anything else is rooted in just how early and how thoroughly you learn the playbook? I think I 
think it's definitely a part of it, sure, for sure. I think, you know, uh, physically I feel like I'm there, you know, um, with the speed and strength and all those different things, and just honing in on, on certain things physically is definitely important, but mentally, uh, definitely a challenge just making sure I'm, you know, playing fast and playing, um, you know, the way I want to play the game and, and the standard that I set for myself, I think, is something that took me a little bit of time, and, um, you know, it's still taking me time to continue to be where I want to be because I'm not there yet, but, um, you know, I think I'm continuing to grow in that, in that fact. Oh man, I mean they're everything. You know, you look to those guys. You know, those, those bets for, for the confidence and the, the reassurance so that, that it's, it's going to be okay. We're going to be able to you know, break through and continue to have success. And, and those guys continue to uplift us and be you know, uh, inspire the team as a whole. So um, those guys are great in that aspect.